Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about data types practically. So in the last class we have discussed about data types theoretically. Okay, so let, let me review. So here data types. Data types are used to define the type of data, memory size and range of values. So we are only concentrating on primitive data types. Primitive data types are two types, Boolean and numerical. And numerical is divided into character and integral. So integral again divided into integer and floating point. So these are the different types of data types. Boolean, char, byte, short, int, long, float and double. So every data type contains minimum value and maximum value. Okay, this is known as a range and this is known as a default value. So the byte default value is zero. And byte data type accepts minus 128 to 127. So next one is short, int, long, float, double, boolean and character data type. Okay. So these are the different data types. So this is the program class demo1. So class is a keyword. Demo1 is a class name. So program execution starts from public static void main. So here byte is a data type, b is a variable, 127 is a value, okay. So these are the different types of data types. All data types must be in lowercase letters because these are known as keywords also. Byte, short, int, long, float, double, char and boolean. So byte accepts minus 128 to plus 127. So that is the range. So that's why I given 127. If you put 128, it will generate error. So next is short. Short memory size is 2 bytes. Int memory size is 4 bytes. Long memory size is 8 bytes. And float is used to store the numbers which contain precision. And the memory size of float is 4 bytes. Double, it occupies 8 bytes of memory and it is also used to store the number which contain precision. The only difference between float and double is in the in terms of memory size. Next character is used to hold only one single character that may be alphabet, digit or special symbol. And boolean is used to check whether the condition is true or false. So here boolean, bool is a variable name is equals to i. i value is 764 greater than b value is 127 so here it is used to check the condition whether it is true or false okay so next i am displaying system.out.println byte value so byte value is stored inside b variable okay so here i am mentioning plus b it will display b value 127 like that i am displaying all the variables let me execute this program open cmd i already saved this program so let me show you file save as so i saved this program this pc local disk d and java folder within the java folder the file name is data types dot java okay cmd next you need to mention d colon because you saved the program in D directory. Next change directory. The folder name is Java. Next we need to compile the program Java C. What is the file name? File name is data types dot Java. If it contain any errors it will display. Otherwise it will show like this. Next we need to run the program. Java class name. So what is the class name? So here the class name is demo1. We need to give demo1. So it will display the byte value. So what is the byte value? Byte value is 127. Short value is 1, 2, 3, 4. Next int value 764. Long value, float value, double value, character value and the boolean value. So here boolean value i value greater than b value means 764 greater than 127 so this is true so that's why the boolean value is true so in this way we can 
use different types of data types. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts regarding to this video, please comment me in the comment section. For more videos, please do subscribe my channel. Thank you.